So here we are to talk about Die Hard. And <laughs> this is the movie I watched last night. Um, I'll tell you this. There's another video I'll explain why I shouldn't have watched it last night. But this was, um, it was a pretty good movie. Die Hard with the Vengeance. So you got um, Samuel Jackson and L. Jackson in it. You got all kinds of people in it that are interesting. Let's see if there's anyone else I recognize here. No, other than Samuel L. Jackson, that's it. And if I recognize someone, I never know him by the name. Um, this movie was pretty good. I it take place in New York. There were all kind of bombs that they had to stop going around and stuff like that. They were trying to rob the Federal Reserve. They, the guy made an argument that um, there was more money there than there was in Fort Knox. I, I have no idea if that's accurate, but it might be. Who knows? Um, this is what it looks like on the outside. I don't have to do this all the time, but... um. They say if you rewind the tapes, it's more efficient for them. I, I guess for the mechanisms inside, maybe, but it's a VHS tape. So, um, what's it rated? Well, believe it or not, Die Hard is a rated R movie because of the ex extensive blood. Then You know, he's covered in blood a good amount in the movie because he's killing people and stuff all the time with guns and all kinds of other different things. Um... I don't, really, I don't really have any problems with this movie at all. It wasn't that bad. I think it's kind of better than the, the first and the first couple of them. I mean, DS has famous quotes and stuff that they have in these movies. In the first one, he shoots Hans Gruber, whatever his name is, across, and then he falls off the building. That's pretty good. The second one, he was fighting with the police chief, the guy from NYPD Blue. Uh, and then they were on a, it was snowing in an airport. All these movies have some significance. People said they didn't like the one when they went to Russia or wherever, whatever it was. Um, and then there was a newer one that was like a cyber version of it. it would, he had to go pick up a hacker and take him to safety. That's in the, way, way after this, though. This movie came out in 1995, I think. Yep, and it's 131 minutes. Now, you don't see a lot of movies nowadays that... You don't, you don't see a lot of movies at all that really eclipse over two hours a lot because they try not to. I don't mind a long movie, but there are a lot of movies, um, like everyday, mov everyday movies you see at the theater that are just about an hour and 45 minutes or two hours. Unless you have a movie like Avatar, which is three hours, you're not going to see anything more than this. Um, there's really nothing else to tell you about this. I wish there was. Um, you get, for the VHS version, you get the Dolby Surround, which is not really much. It's not like it's a 5.1 setup or anything. And um, that's it. And um, make sure you have a uh, uh, CRT television of some kind, of projection TV, whatever you want to call them, to watch these. Because that's the only way to watch VHS. You can't watch it any other way. All right. That's it, and, well, you can, but the results will be bad. Bye-bye.